and loves the job You walking in your perfect with pink mascara You know your couple When you start to dance, that's why me love Next your dressing gown is about to fall down, down. Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of African Boxing. And please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like button, of course, subscribe to the channel. I, I really appreciate each and every one of your support. Because it's not easy, bro. It's not easy to be this um, patient um, with me. And I really do appreciate it. Now let's get straight to it right here with that station. Jai Opetai, a cruiserweight monster from Australia. Um, there's a rumor that he dropped and beat up Fury, inspiring. But we all know the news. Uh, Opetai left the. Has Fury's um, training camp for the Lizard will seek fight after just five rounds of sparring. After five rounds of sparring with him, um, of course, it is reported that uh, this is because there was a lack of you know, orthodox sparring in uh, furious cam and stuff like bro we know all this kind of stuff for someone to leave after five rounds let's keep it right here jayo petai and fury has a they, they have an history together they, i think this was the first one of the first times they met you know petai you know being very informed of fury you know fury is a I think Fury is going to have a lot of problem with Rosa Usyk. I was just, I rewatched a lot of Fury fights last night. Fury has problem problems with um, guys that have, that he doesn't, it's like, he doesn't understand. He understood Deontay Wilder, that's why he beat Wilder. Fury needs to understand you. He needs to break you down mentally. He needs to make you. He needs to make you a, a small guy. In order for him to beat you. Against Usyk, he's tried all those tactics. I don't know if it will, if it will work. If they work on Usyk, because Usyk is a different animal, bro. Now Jayo Petai beating up Fury in sparring. What does this say about Fury? Of course, Opetai's team came out. You know, kind of to debunk the um, the rumors and stuff like that. According to Opetai's co-promoters, uh, Tasma Fighters, they said right here, they test on what cruiserweight champion Jay Opetai. Betai has recently returned from Saudi Arabia, very sparred and trained with Tyson Fury. They were fantastic, competitive rounds, and an incredible experience for Jai. However, any talk of either boxer being dropped is not true. Jai is now back in Australia, finalizing his preparation to defend his world title, and cannot wait to do so in Saudi Arabia. Isn't it unusual? Like. Come on, man. Fury's chin is gone. We know this is a lie. We know he got beat by Jayo Petai. But I'll tell you right now, Jayo Petai is no more. That guy can fight. And you looking at this guy, you, you can tell that he's got a very good chin. He's strong. But that's not enough. To be... A dominant world champion and Jayo Petai would eventually end up in the division. It's gonna be very interesting to see how he fares, but I don't think he has a chance because he's one of those rare fighters. You just look at it and just you just see greatness in this guy. Hopefully, it doesn't become an app job, but 
you see when you look at this guy, you see greatness, you see hunger. You know when a fighter has when a fighter is hungry, that is and he's more is most dangerous. We're gonna see how Jay Peter's story plays out, but I am seeing something very magnificent right here. I'm seeing something bigger than what we all expect. And it's just the beginning for the young man, Dayo Pitai. Fury, on the other hand, I hope is mentally there. I hope his chain is still a little bit. Because Wada cracked it. Fury has been dropped by many people. He was dropped by Steve Cunningham. The problem is not dropping Fury. It's, it's keeping him down. He's been dropped couple of times but it's not been stopped that's the most difficult part but if you're getting dropped by Jay Petai inspiring a height of a fight against Usyk I'm not saying Usyk punches out of Jay Petai we don't know yet because Usyk is a proper is like basically not it's not an heavyweight but I do expect Usyk to also drop Fury but can Usyk keep Fury down? That's the problem. Fury, I just hope he wins this fight. Because we do need to see that Joshua Fury fight. Mega fight. I know it will happen, it will, it will happen regardless. Usyk deserves everything. That's everything coming for him. Usyk deserves the best. But it just happens to be that the every division like lost a little bit of momentum you know this was became champion he not that Usyk is a bad fighter it's just that the excitement is not is you know lost it, like it's the excitement wasn't there now that joshua is back you see coming back that shows you something that tells you that that should tell you that joshua is the face of the sport facts but what do you guys make of Jay Petai getting uh, dro um, beating up uh, Fury, inspiring, and uh, Fury getting dropped by a cruiserweight, who of course is a dangerous monster, no doubt, and it's probably gonna end up in the heavyweight division. I look forward to Jay Petai's story, his journey, his future in the sport of boxing. And now he conducts himself when he gets to the when he gets to the top to the mountain. Give it to me, below, guys. Like, share, subscribe. I appreciate each and every one of you. God bless you. Cheers.